All right, in this video, we'll show you how to program a Garmin Chirp using an Oregon 450T. So we'll just turn this on as it boots up. I'll explain a little bit of the Chirp. Chirp is a wireless uh, radio beacon using the Ant technology, similar to how the certain forerunners can transfer uh, the data wirelessly to your computer. It's just a little radio beacon. You can put a standard watch battery here. It has a little Velcro strip you want to attach it somewhere. And uh, you can uh, insert a waypoint, a geocache, a name, a little hint. And uh, let's program that right now. So we have our Oregon here. Easiest way to do this is to actually change your profile to uh, the geocaching profile. Because when you change it, our battery's just a little low, that's why. Uh, because when you change it, for example, the compass page, you saw a little message here that chirp is enabled for searching, so it's already searching. Here that it uh, detected the chirp, we can view the details or tap OK. Let's uh, view the details. It says here that the chir chirp hasn't been programmed, like to program it. Yes, no, let's choose yes. Here we see the details. Obviously the chirp is empty, so there's nothing in there. We can send the waypoints and the geocache, the name, change the message and erase. So let's uh, send it a uh, geocache. So let's say that we're doing a, a multi. So we want people to walk by a trailhead and receive the waypoint. So let's choose uh, this one right here. And let's tap on send. So that is going to send those coordinates to it. Now uh, geocache also has some text to it. so. We'll see if uh, that gets sent to the message field. The message field is only about uh, 50 characters. The name is uh, limited to nine characters. You can send the stage to the waypoint. And that's about it, rather limited. If you were to read more than one chirp, it will always keep the latest chirp details. So here it transfers completed. Tap OK. Let's take notice here that the name changed to Gold Star, which is the name of the geocache. Take a look at the details. And you can see here the serial number of the, the chirp, the last visit, which was never. And you see the little hint here, look for the sign. And you can see that the next stage. So if you wanted to navigate, you simply were to do that. So let's, uh, well, let's say we're happy with that. So let's turn this off and turn this on again and, and assume that we're gonna pick this up for the very first time. All right, so we booted up uh, the GPS again. Notice here we're on our dashboard here. Chirp is searching. It's detected the chirp. Notice that the name is changed. Load up the details. Now we can uh, view the details. Notice here that we've logged a visit now because we just did that, the date. And again, if we want to navigate to the next stage, so again, assuming we're at the trailhead, we want to get to the to the cabin or the other trail, the portage, the canoe site, whatever. Tap on go and we can navigate that as we would normally. Now the th key thing here is this is a special chirp navigation or waypoint. You can't save it to your regular waypoints or geocaches so uh, be a little bit careful with this. So if you wanted to reset the chirp you would probably go to setup, scroll down here to geocaches right here. You can see here that chirp searching is on. You can turn that off. You can program the chirp. And let's erase. And there you go.